Hey guys, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera directly, but it is because I'm driving, so I can't, that wouldn't really be very responsible, although I don't know how responsible it is to be driving and um, recording, filming, whatever. Um, I just came from Panera to get me some food. I'm obsessed with their broccoli cheddar soup. And that's pretty much the only thing, that's the only thing I got there. So, I just got out of school. Um, I'm a little stressed because I have a, I have a project due for this class that I'm not doing so hot on. Um, not because particularly the class is difficult, which is what really bothers me. This class is not difficult. This stuff is stuff we've learned from like middle school. I'm not even kidding. And um, it's a math class. And I don't have a hard time in math classes. It's just the way the professor makes it. He makes it very difficult for us to get A's, which is what I'm aiming for, right? Um, but no, um, this class, for example, uh, you might not get why, but just as an example, last. Well, like a couple weeks ago, we had our midterm for the class. And this midterm is worth 25% of our entire grade. Okay. I know how to do it. I know how to do the work. It's all good. And um, the way he formatted this midterm was, there were five questions on the midterm. It sounds pretty bad, right? Two of them were actual problems that we had to solve. And then three of them were um, multiple choice. That's pretty bad. Because I, what worried me wasn't the, the actual problem solving because I know how to do the stuff. So I was like, that's fine. I could do problem solving. I could show my work and he'll know that I know how to do this. But multiple choice means this jerk is gonna try to trip us up with like hard questions and all that crap. So, of course, comes multiple choice. I got two of them wrong. So I got a C, I got a 72, and whatever, that's, I know it's not like awful, but if you're aiming for an A in the class, that just pretty much screws your chances for an A in the class. And whatever, the way I'm talking is pretty much an idea of how at least the school system works where I live because it's so stressful and it really shouldn't be like that. Like, you think you'd want to go to school to learn, right? Like, for example, this class, I know how to do this stuff. I, I showed it in the problem solving, but because I couldn't get past his, his tricky use of words and all that, then I got a lower grade and it's stressing me out, right? But our school system isn't like, oh, is it, it isn't designed for you to want to learn. It's designed to stress you out, pretty much. And school has been stressing me out since I was like teeny tiny. And I mean, when I was four, five, I was dying to go to school. I really, really wanted to because, I don't know, I, the only TV I had was PBS, so they always made school seem like fun and learning seemed like so much fun and my cousin got to go to pre-K and I didn't go to pre-K and I just really, really wanted to go to school. It was, I was such a weird little nerd. And I was so excited when I finally did go to school. Um, I loved it up until first grade. <laughs> first grade was awful. First grade was, um, it stressed me out because I, that's when I first got my first taste of like what, how stressful school can really be. Um, first grade I had this teacher who, um, who gave us quizzes and I wasn't used to that and she gave us expelling quizzes right off the bat and she had a reputation for being a hard teacher, at least for a first grade teacher I guess. And I felt so dumb and I hate that feeling. I didn't know how to spell those words yet. So I got very, very stressed out and anxious about going to school. 
oh my god, um, I had a private bus that would take me to school, and um, whenever, it would pick me up from my aunt's house, and whenever it came to pick me up, I would hide under the bed. I would literally hide under the bed um, so that the bus would go away, but my mom would drag me out and obviously make, obviously make me go to school. Literally, it stressed me out to the point where I, my stomach would hurt and I literally threw up a few times before going to class because I was so stressed. And how messed up is that? That a little, what, six-year-old was stressed to the point about school that I would be throwing up. I literally told my teacher, but she probably thought I was making it up. I wasn't making it up. That carried on throughout my, my whole school life. I mean, I didn't keep throwing up forever or hiding. I wasn't hiding under the bed forever. And this is what I mean. It is dependent on the teacher. It's dependent on the system that they carry out. Second grade. Um, it was okay. I enjoyed second grade so much because the professor, the teacher, obviously loved to teach and he loved his kids and he was just like the best teacher there was um, in the school and he was just the nicest and he taught us in a fun manner and he didn't stress us out. Fifth grade came along and I had a really hard ass teacher and he, he was hard. He was very difficult. I mean he would yell at us. Um, he liked me, thankfully, for some reason, but he just, that didn't stop him from yelling at me a couple times. And <laughs> it just stressed the crap out of me. I mean, going to school, I felt like I was permanently in a state of anxiety and stress um, for most of my life. And then I graduated high school, I went into college. Now, I do still feel that, that stress but I feel like I can handle it so much better now that I'm an adult and I know that it's not the end of the world. But you know, there's still those days that you spend time just crying about classes, crying from pure stress. It has happened to me where I'm doing a homework assignment and I'll just literally start crying because I don't get it or I can't get it right and it's, it's awful. But. Hopefully one day it won't be like that. Who knows though. Anyway, hopefully the school system improves here, especially the public school system, when we're obligated to go to school. Hopefully that improves, because we don't have a choice. We're little kids trying to learn. I was excited for school before it started. And, um, I just wish that it was a much better system where we actually want to learn because it's possible let me tell you it is so possible to want to learn to have that kind of system and it's not the hard hardest thing in the world you know anyway that was my little rant for today um i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time